In 2002, FBI and CIA agents thought they had nabbed the diabolical Al-Qaeda mastermind. Abu Zubaydah has never been charged with a crime. He was imprisoned in the secret CIA unit called Strawberry Fields. As in forever. Prior to 9-11, CIA never captured or detained anybody. They weren't prepared. People started looking for who was best to interrogate, and there weren't any. Psychologist James Mitchell was the only candidate considered. I just took it for granted that they knew what they were doing. CIA officers were certain he was holding back because he wasn't telling them what they wanted to hear. Something more aggressive had to be done. The lawyer's philosophy is, tell me what you want to do, boss, and I'll make it legal. We asked him to draw what was done to him. Abu Zubaydah is put in isolation. Everything that was happening was Mitchell's experiments. Nudity has been approved. Sleep deprivation has been approved. Noise has been approved. The same song again and again and again. He spent 11 days in a coffin-shaped box. He was on the waterboard. I mean, this is crazy. The best evidence of what happened is the video. What was the reason why you thought that it was important to have the tapes destroyed? I needed to protect the people who were there. Destroying evidence would inevitably lead to accusations of a cover-up. It would make the CIA look bad. It was an impossible story to tell, so I sued the CIA to get materials unredacted. We saw constant manipulation by the CIA, misleading Bush, misleading Obama. If my boss tells me it's legal, if the president approved it, I'm not going to get into what some journalist thinks about it. In America, we have this thing called innocent until proven guilty. We were the leaders of the effort against cruel and unusual punishment. After 9-11, that's out the window. Do the ends always justify the means? Are we prepared to abandon our principles in order to defend them?